Hello, online student of standard three. Good morning. I hope you all are well in this pandemic coronavirus. Please stay home, stay safe. Let's feel your quality time with your family member. You can give your quality time in your study also because your exam will start soon. First time online examination. Your syllabus is chapter one to five. Whatever answer you question are there inside the book and from the text, please learn it properly because. Uh, this is your this first time online examination. It is only for MCQ. So please all read all the MCQ type question like true or false, fill in the blanks from inside and outside also. That is very important for your exam. And if you play for play some indoor games, whatever homework I am giving you in maths and science, please do it in your homework copy on that because whenever the school is going to open, I am going to ask all the homework which I am giving you. So please sincerely do your work in your copy. So today I am going to teach you science chapter six is going on living and non-living thing. I have to teach differences between plants and animals. Okay, page number sixty-seven. Although both plants and animals are living things, okay, plants and animals are living things. They have some differences between them, but they have some differences. Okay. So we'll see differences between plants and animals. Okay. So first we have plants and here. Plants make their own food, and animals do not make their own food. Yes, plants make their own food by the help of heat, sun, by the help of sunlight, air, and water. But animals do not make their own food. Why? Because animals are dependent on the plants and other animals. Okay. So, first point is plants make their Own food? How? Hey, with the help of sunlight, air, and water. Animals do not make their own food. Then how they how do they eat? They are dependent on the plants and other animals. Now, second point is plants. They cannot move from one place to another. On their own, but they show movement. They cannot move, but they show movement. How they show movement? I have given you an example. The bean, okay? The uh, bean. The uh, if we have seen the plant, a tree, bean tree, a bean plants. The bean it twists together, it is split and it spread to show their seed. So that shows movement, but. Plants cannot move from one place to another by own. That is hundred percent agreed on it. That it will not erode with the help of air, water, okay, or some person will not cut. Then only that it will not move. So the plants cannot move. Okay, one. Place to another by own, but and they can move from one place to another on their own. But animals can move. Why they? Because they actually move in the search of food and shelter. Because animals they need food every time. Every time means at least they need food after an hour, two hour. So they keep searching. Okay, they keep searching. And they need shelter also. Animals also cannot live in the sunlight. They also cannot live in the water also. Okay, so they all they keep moving in the search of food and in the search of shelter. So they can move one place to another on it on their. 
now we'll move to number three point. Plants do not have sense organs. Okay, like we like animals, plants do not have sense organs. Like we have sense organs. We have five sense organs: eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin. Many animals are there. They have also sense organs. But in many animals are also there that they use their other sense organs. Like uh, I have given you an example of this cats. Cat actually use whiskers. Whiskers means the hair which is present on their mouth. Okay. Cat use its whiskers to feel movement around them. Okay. And one more I have just given that. Yes, butter. Uh, I think was butterfly. Was. Okay, so we'll be in lecture number two.